Hey, I'm back. We are going... Well, I don't even know the name of this road, but we are down by Lake Uchi. Um, what the, what's the creek called? Upper Spavanaugh? Yeah. Yeah, Spavanaugh. it feeds into... Upper Uchi, Upper Spavanaugh. It's really pretty. Both of them feeds into it. Anyway, our kids went down here swimming, and I tried to get a hold of them in Manhattan yet, so I don't know if they're still down here or not, but we just thought we'd go see if we could catch them and show this pretty scenery while, I'm, while we're at it. You can see the, I don't know if it's fish or bugs, little swirlies on the water or something's jumping out there. And there's a, is that a slough? Is that just where it runs? It's part of it. Back yeah, because it goes up under this bridge up here, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. We used to go down here a lot to swim. I haven't in years. I probably wouldn't be able to. This used to be old, uh, what, one lane bridge with a, mm -hmm. like, boards down it and you yeah. straddle two boards. They built a new one several years ago. I'm sure glad because it was pretty bad. But anyway, it's been really humid and yucky today. We're sitting here enjoying the air condition for now. <laughs> I haven't been down here a long time, you know what? My husband. Say hi. Hi. He's driving, and I'm just sitting here. They have. Don't the the gigging tournament starts off right there, doesn't it? Yeah. Isn't that what they call the gigging flats? Yeah. Flats. Yeah. That's where they they have a competition every year, and that they'll all line up there, and it's a big deal. They have like a. Almost like a festival because they'll um, a lot of people will come down and watch them take off, and uh, it's a big, really a big deal. And it's really neat to see because it's usually dark, and you see the they have the big lights on their boats and everything. It's pretty, pretty cool. Ah, sorry, it's lumpy here. Ah. Anyway, um, the um. Fireworks I showed you. I talked about the giggers. Um, uh, there's ones that had the um, fireworks on their boats. But anyway, it's it's pretty cool. I, like I haven't been to it in years. It's not even that far from home, like five miles or so. And uh, but it's still pretty cool. They catch carp, right? Catch carp with spears. Yeah, it's, it's a big deal around here. We just haven't ever got into it. But we used to come down here a lot, especially when we were dating many moons ago. See, we'll be, we'll be married 29 years in September. So we'll have to do us a, uh, what do they call those videos where they tell, what we tell more about ourselves and how we met. I'll have to look that up. A lot of my vloggers. Oh man, hope this doesn't hurt her a little far. Is that them? Watch it be them. No, nope, that's not them. That's a white truck in it, or Jeep. They're in our, our Dodge pickup. So we'll see if they're down here. Oh, Emily's car don't like this. At least I have an excuse for this footage being shaky because of the road. <laughs> I have a camera and a uh, tripod coming this week. We'll see how they how they do. See if we get some better footage. I've done everything so far just with my cell phone, so that been too bad though, considering. Let's see, what we're, I've been down here at times where these puddles. That's nothing. Where it'd be huge puddles, you'd have to go way around or straddle, depending on what you're driving. Can you turn that up or down or whatever? It's a little bit cold. But he's uh, somebody coming inside our truck. Nope. Like it. Is it? Oh. There they are. What is this? Ah, there they are. Say hi. There's him, Levi, driving. There's him. We're just coming check on you guys. 
Did you have fun? Huh? What'd she say? She's the old person. She got to go to bed early. Yep, I know. Was it nice down here? What? What'd she say? I can't hear. Bring the drink? Yeah. Okay. Huh? Hey. Drink that Pepsi. I guess we'll go down here. This, uh, area down here we'll show you in a minute. It's called Muscle Beach. We'll show it to you here in a minute. Okay, this area of the creek, they call it Muscle Beach. This gravel bar, they call it, right? A gravel bar? Yeah. It's different all the time, but, um, it's beautiful. It goes way up in there. We're not going to go very far because we're in our daughter's car. It sits slow. We don't want to tear it up, but... We used to swim down here a lot. Even my husband, Kenneth, did when he was a kid. He brought me down here before we got married, even. So it's been a long time we started going down here. But I'd love to go in, but I wouldn't be able to get in and out because I don't walk too well and it's steep and everything. But I miss swimming. I have to figure out a way I can go swimming. We don't have, like, a, a Y and stuff around here, like, some places where you can get in and out of the pool easy. We have pools, but they're only the kinds with the uh, ladders, and I just can't do it anymore. But you want to turn around up there, where the areas where we used to camp. It's not that far. That expedition, like that one we had? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Levi told me earlier he saw one the other day, passed by one that had been turned over. A lot of people camp. I don't know. Do you still camp down here? I don't think so. No, we can't either. We used to be able, we've camped down here in the past with family, but we can't anymore. Of course, I don't like camping, but still yet we would come down and stay with people that were camping. They got that area blocked off, huh? Yeah. Wow. See right there? Did we used to... Yeah, that goes up to, go the mud, to the mud... The mud... Mud banks. Mud banks, yeah. Huh. Wow. It's a lot different than it used to. So. All right. Well, we're going to head out of here and see what the trouble we can get into. See you in a little while. Well, like I said, we've seen our kids and they're heading home. So we are too. But the sun's starting to set. It's starting to look pink and pretty. So I'm hoping to catch some of this. We're almost to the highway, but I'm going to keep shooting as we go up the hill and see what it looks like. There's some of the lake. You can't see it very well in the car. Alright, we're getting back on the highway. Let's see what we can see here. There's a um, pool up here, but it's not. Well, they've got to close down now, don't they? Yeah. But they were saying the other day, that's crazy. They closed the state park up there. They said they ran out of money for a different park. Oh, that's sad. They... That's why they wanted to close down. Wow. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. They were going to close down some state parks. I forgot about that. I didn't. Wow, that's sad. That was a nice one. It has a pool up there with it and uh, picnic benches and everything. But in fact, my mom and dad worked on that one when they built it. Really? What do you mean worked on it? Uh, <clears throat> something with the mortar on the bricks. Uh huh. They cleaned it. They they cleaned the mortar off after the guys got the uh -huh. stone bricks. The extra mortar. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I'm wanting to buy it so we can get rich. <laughs> well, you never know. If you think I need to buy this pool, <laughs> just send me a letter. <laughs> Silly. Did I mention my husband is Henri? If you haven't noticed, you will, believe me. And he's a keeper. 
He might throw a hundred dollars in it. Is that a radio tower or a cell phone tower right there? Cell phone tower. Okay. I said he might throw a hundred dollars in to help buy this swim <laughs> and state park. Give him the address. Oh, I have a Patreon account, but you know, I don't know if they have enough followers to want to do that. <laughs> But I appreciate the followers I do have. I have 30 followers. That's amazing to me. When I got 5, I was excited. Then 10, then 15, 20, 30. I was like, wow. I mean, I know other people have a lot more. That just amazes Yeah. Okay. That just amazes me, though. You know, everybody starts somewhere. It's 8. 35 Five. showing it. I'm surprised. It, the sun hasn't gone down more. There's a pretty field. Hey. Hey. <laughs> That's a corny joke around here. You see, hey, hey. Oh, there's a good shot of the sun setting. Hopefully. peeking out. One of these days I want to do a tour of town and some of the smaller little communities around. Especially like the towns where they say if you blink you'll miss it. I'd like to do a series like Uchi and um, Strang and all them spouting all those little bee towns. Uh, Cherokee City. That would be a neat series to do. Well, not a series, but a video. Just do them all together in one video. I think that would be neat to do. I was thinking about that earlier today when Emily and I went through Cherokee City. All that's there is a church and some houses, but it's called Cherokee City. It's over in Arkansas. Close to Siloam Springs, where we like to go a lot. We're in the very northeast corner of Oklahoma, so we're just 12 miles from Arkansas and what, 17 or 18 miles from Missouri? Yep. Oh, they call, um, where the, there's a spot where the three states come together. They call it, there's a, oh, a marker called the uh, cornerstone. cornerstone where the three states, so that's pretty neat. Um, well, I don't know how well you can see it, but that's pretty. I'll look at it, play it back, see how it looks. I hope it's picking up good. It looks different to the eye than it does when you're looking at it through the screen. So it's, there's some, is that cows or buffalo? Blue cows. Well, I can tell it was cows or buffalo. Yeah. I'm pretty, pretty cows. I got to run water buffalo. <laughs> That's what you said here. We're coming into our little bee town of Jay. So. All right. Well, I'm going to pause it for now, and I may or may not be back. We'll see. Talk to everyone later, whether it's today or another day. Take care, everyone.